In this video, we will show you how to configure tests on your Personar Toolkit. Bring up the Tests tab and then click on Add Test. You'll probably want to start with adding a throughput test. You could give it a name, TCP throughput, default interface. By default, it runs a test every six hours of 20 seconds long. That's a pretty good default. You can add test members now, but you can also go back and do that later. Right now, I'm just going to set up a set of tests and then go back and add the hosts later. So we click on OK, and we see that we now have a TCP throughput test. Let's add another test, uh, another throughput test, but this time let's do UDP. We will do UDP and um, under advanced parameters, we can specify the tool. So in this case, rather than using iperf3 by default, I want to use iperf2 by default instead. Well, it'll, by default, it's both directions. That's fine. You could also configure number of parallel streams if you wanted to. Um, you could specify uh, various quality of service parameters, etc. These are all fairly advanced but uh, we will add UDP tests. Now let's go in and add a uh, latency test using the tool OAMP. And we will add a ping test. Ping will just give you round trip time. OAMP also gives you round trip time, but Ping, it might be interesting to compare the results from Ping. So we'll have that in here as well. And we'll go ahead and add a trace route test as well. There's some advanced parameters for trace route. Uh, as well. You can say number of maximum hops, etc. Uh, by default, it tries trace routes first and trace path second. It makes you uh, give the test name. Okay, now that we've configured the tests, the next thing you can do is add some hosts. So yeah, one thing to point out is that OAMP testing goes on in the background continually, so there's no interval on that. Everything else, we're just using the default interval. You can specify whether to run IPv4, IPv6, or both. Um, so I'm going to add a test host. And uh, I know for a fact that this particular test host is v4 only, so I can't click on v6. But let's try TCP. So let's add tests all, all the above to this host and hit OK. Let's go ahead and add another host. This is one of the ESNet test hosts in Sacramento. And I know for a fact that this one is a v6 host, but I might be interesting to run both v6 and v4 to compare to make sure that's the same performance. Okay, so now we're running test to two hosts, all of these tests, and then the most important thing is to hit save. And there you go, your tests are configured. You'll be able to come back to your public dashboard in a few hours and you will see um, test results. Right now it says no data available because it takes a while for tests to be run and collected.